everyone today i'm gonna make a product review on the product that we are all familiar with that is the vivo y20 has it has been released by the company vivo on august 2020 and today i'm gonna show you the preview about the unboxing of the y20 smartphone of the Vivo Y20. The first track is the long-lasting battery life. Second, multi-turbo 3.0 game. Game mode for light gaming only. Third will be no problem for daily users. Can use for 24 hours. And the fourth will be the camera performances is very great because it have three component camera. That is 13 megapixel camera. The second will be the two megapixel super macro camera. And the third will be the two megapixel bokeh camera. Next is the Weaknesses of the Y20 Vivo smartphone. That is the first one is there is no video stabilization software support and it have heating problem when you're charging the phone. I would like to talk about my likes and dislikes about this Vivo Y20 smartphone. What I like about this phone is that it have wide display screen that enable the users to see clearly when watching a movie because it have 6.51 this hollow display screen and it have eye protection support system. Uh, my dislike about this Y20 Vivo smartphone, the first dislike that I don't like about this phone is that the updating system because sometimes it will cause the phone to be lagged and it's hard for me to search for materials. And the second one is the charging system. The phone will overheat when the phone is charged for 24 hours. Next, I would like to talk about my experiences with this Vivo Y20 smartphone. My, my best experience with this phone is that the camera performances is very great. When you took a picture of an object is very clear, no blur. And the two components that I really like about this, I would like to share is the 30 megapixel uh, camera, front camera, uh, front and the back camera, and the bokeh camera that is two megapixel.